Hello everybody. You should have all watched the video of Oi Dog now on YouTube. I sent a link to it on Tapestry, so if you haven't watched that yet, just go back and watch it and then come back to my video, okay? So you'll notice in the story there were lots and lots of animals, okay? So I've written a list of just some of the animals that were in the story, okay? So I've got, let's read them, shall we? See which ones I have written. Ready? D of G. Dog. K at. Cat. B air. Bear. M of. Moth. Okay? So I've got a list of some of the animals from the story. And what your task is today is to think of some words that rhyme with these words and write them in a list, okay? So, dog. Can you think of some words that rhyme with dog? Have a little think, hmm. And then tell me some. I thought of one. I thought of the word log. Dog and log. Right, three thread fingers because it's got three sounds in. Log, l-o-g. Log, dog, l-o-g, log, okay, you need to give another one that rhymes with dog and log, got dog, log, hmm, have a little thing, oh, I thought of one, cog, cog, spell it out for me guys as I write it, c-o-g, cog, fabulous, okay, so I want you to keep going with that and see how many different rhyming words you can write that rhyme with the word dog. Do the same for cat, bear, moth, and all of the other animals in the story if you can, okay? So I want you to really challenge yourself and try hard with this one, okay? Make sure that you're practicing making your, your letter formation nice and beautiful as well as you write. <clears throat> Good, okay. Now, our maths challenge today is doubling, okay? Can you say that word? Doubling, doubling, and doubling just means when we have, um, we double the amount of something, it's when we have the same amount again, okay? It's quite tricky to understand doubling. So we're gonna just start with two today. So I have got a pair of earrings. I don't just have one earring, I have a pair of earrings and a pair makes two, okay? So I've got two earrings. So I have one earring to start with and then another one the same. So that means I've got two. I've doubled the amount, haven't I? I did have one. Double one is two. So now I've got two earrings. I've got two earrings there. So your challenge today is to go around your house and see if you can find a pair of something. See how many different things you can find a pair of. So you might find a pair of earrings. What else might you find a pair of? Double of, double socks, because you don't just wear one sock, do you? You don't just have one foot, how many feet do you have? Two, so you need to have two socks, don't you? So one plus one more equals two, okay? So we've got earrings, socks, what else could you think of? Have a little think, have a chat with your grown up. And then what I want you to do is go and have a look around your house and see what you can find different pairs of, different doubles of, okay? And then what I'd like you to do is experiment with writing. I want you to journal your ideas. Now journaling is something that we do in maths at school, isn't it? It's a way of uh, writing and recording our ideas. So I want you to journal your ideas. So you might start by drawing your earrings, so here are my earrings. They don't, your drawings don't need to be really detailed. Okay, so oh, let's just leave a bit of space actually. So there's one earring, so we write the number one underneath, plus another earring, so we need to draw that on there. Okay, so one plus one equals how many one plus one more equals two two earrings okay so then you might go around your house and find your socks you'll draw one sock plus another sock 
makes how many all together? One plus one makes two. So one doubled makes two. Okay? When we double something, the answer isn't always two. The answer is only always two if we're doubling one. Okay, it's quite tricky, but don't worry because we're going to learn more about it throughout the week, okay? So that's your challenge for today, guys. And then your creative task today is to do a little bit of research about um, Shrove Tuesday, Pancake Day, okay? Because next Tuesday, it's Pancake Day. So I'd like you to do a little bit of research about Pancake Day and see if you can tell me what you've learnt. And then I want you to have a think about what kind of things you would like to have on a pancake. And you could draw your own pancake with lots of delicious toppings on there and then upload your pictures for me to see on tapestry right guys i'll see you again tomorrow goodbye